To begin the disassembly of your iPhone 4 GSM version, you will first need to remove the back housing cover. Using a Phillips 00 or Pentalo 5 star screwdriver, remove the two screws on the bottom of the iPhone 4. Please note, older iPhone 4s used a Phillips screws on the bottom and the newer iPhone 4s all use the Pentalo 5 star screwdriver. Once you remove the two screws, slide the back cover up and it will pop right off. Next, using your Phillips double zero screwdriver, remove the two screws on the top of the dock connector flex cable connector. Under these two screws is a metal bracket that will come right off. Next, you can remove the screw holding your battery connector flex cable in place. Using your fingers or a safe open pry tool, go ahead and disconnect the dock connector flex ribbon. Sometimes it is held in by a little adhesive that is a little hard so you will have to pull it back gently. Then remove the two screws on the bottom loudspeaker slash Wi-Fi GPS connection cable. Next, using a safe open pry tool, go ahead and disconnect the battery flex cable ribbon. Under it is an L-shaped connector. Go ahead and remove that as well and put it to the side. Once you remove the battery flex cable, you can go ahead and pop the battery up. Use a safe open pry tool. There is adhesive under it, so you will have to pry it a little bit for it to come off. Next, you can disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna flex ribbon. And after that is removed, you can go ahead and remove your loudspeaker dock assembly. Now, you can remove the screw in the center of your logic board. Please note, it is covered by a white warranty sticker. You can go ahead and just screw over this, or you can pull it off carefully if you want to go ahead and put that sticker back on when we're assembling your phone. Once that is removed, you can remove two screws holding your vibrator module in place. Please remember, these screws are different sizes, so you will want to keep them in the same order that you took them out. Next, you will want to take off the five double zero size screws covering a metal bracket on the top of your phone. All of these screws are different sizes, so once again, put them in the same order you took them out so that you do not have a hard time putting them back in. With the five screws removed, you can go ahead and remove the metal bracket shield. It is a little bit tricky to remove, so you will have to wiggle it a bit to get it to pop off. With the metal shield removed, you can go ahead and disconnect the six flex cable ribbons as shown here. One is the camera flex cable ribbon. Please note, the three on this side will go ahead and flip downwards. The two in the middle are your touchscreen glass and LCD ribbons. Those flip upwards. Your camera flex cable ribbon also will flip upwards. And once that is removed, the camera should pop right off. Finally, you will see one final screw held into the top right corner. You can use your Phillips double zero or a flathead screwdriver to remove this screw. Using a SIM tray ejector tool, which you can find at InjuredGadgets.com, you want to go ahead and release your SIM tray. If you do not release the SIM tray, the logic board will not come out of the phone. 
with all of the screws on the logic board removed and the SIM tray removed as well, you can go ahead and remove the logic board from the mid-frame assembly. Please place the logic board in an electrostatic device safe area. With the logic board now removed, you will go ahead and loosen up six screws on the side of your phone. You can remove these screws, which do have washers under them, but we honestly suggest just to go ahead and loosen them up about a half of a turn. In addition to those two, six screws are four additional screws, one on each corner of your midframe. The four in the corners will need to be removed completely. With the six screws on the side loosened and the four in the corners removed, you can go ahead and separate your touchscreen glass digitizer from the midframe. Be very careful not to pierce any cables inside when doing this, as it can damage the internals of the phone. Please note your touchscreen glass digitizer does have some adhesive around the sides, so it will require a little bit of prying to go ahead and separate it from the midframe assembly. Once your touchscreen glass digitizer and LCD panel has been removed, you can go ahead and remove your home button with flex cable ribbon. You will first want to disconnect the jawbone connector by flipping it upwards. Once that is disconnected, you can go ahead and remove the flex cable ribbon of your home button with the actual home button itself. Now you will want to go ahead and separate the flex cable from the home button. Please note it is adhered with some adhesive, so be careful when separating the two. To replace the home button flex cable, you will just go ahead and take your brand new home button flex cable after making sure the correct direction it should go in on the home button. Generally, there will be grooves under the home button that you will see in a moment that will line up with the direction of the flex cable ribbon. Once you have lined up the flex cable ribbon with the home button, go ahead and adhere it to the home button. Once it is stuck on there, go ahead and make sure it is clicking to ensure that it is installed properly and place the flex cable ribbon of the home button through the slot on your midframe. Once that is on there, you can go ahead and connect the ribbon into the little jawbone connector using your fingers or a pair of tweezers. Once it is inside, you can go ahead and push the jawbone connector down to lock it in place. Please view our other videos for the iPhone 4 reassembly guide.